Well, hey, Cancer, welcome back to Peony Lore, where we help you to find the beauty in all things. So this is going to serve for the Sun, Moon, and Rising sign of Cancer, technically from the 27th of September until October the 3rd. Yes, I realize you didn't get this particular message um, prior to Mercury Retrograde happening on Monday, but hopefully you were able to see the Mercury Retrograde um, readings that I did for each of the elements, and each of those elements had a breakdown um, for each of the signs within that element. Um, <clears throat> as an empath, <laughs> I am highly affected by energies, and so, you know, I'm just learning to, just like everybody else, try to integrate the different energies that are coming in, and I would rather try to give you a quality reading versus trying to rush through it, so... You're going to get it now. <laughs> and similarly to what I did for the Mercury Retrograde readings, I am going to be pulling a card specifically for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising to help tell the story for you. Okay? All right. So in this reading, we are going to use our Psychic Tarot deck. That's what it wanted to come out this week. And of course, we're going to start it off with our Sacred Geometry. So the Sacred Geometry card here is going to um, reach all of you, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, we'll pull uh, one card for each day of the week. We will clarify with the White Sage Tarot, and we will pull in... Um, the, uh, what are we using? We're using the Black Moon Astrology for your Sun, Moon, and Rising, and we're using the Starseed Oracle on top of that to give you a little bit more information um, to hopefully dig down and be a little bit more specific to your situation. So here we go. Hopefully your mid-month up until this point has been um, going well for you, Cancer. We're still in your moon for these next couple of days, so hopefully that is supporting you with the different things that are going on. All right. Well, the card that we have here is a Hertz card. So we have 396 Hertz, which would help you if you need to liberate yourself from guilt or even fear about something you have going on. From a spiritual perspective, um, that's very important that you take a look at that. So 396 Hertz, dial it into the YouTube or to the Google <laughs> or to any of the resources that you use um, for meditation with those pieces of music okay so let's go ahead and pull your days of the week here again we are starting with the 27th i realize you're not going to see this right away but that is okay with me let's see yeah mm-hmm mm -hmm. so one of the reasons i like using the psychic trail deck is because it specifically talks about um, kind of where we're at with some of the chakra cards. And so far, we seem to be Johnny on it here. Let's see what we have for Wednesday's energy. And Wednesday, um, oh, yeah, there's kind of a lot of bunch of squares that are going on. I can see. Uh huh. Yeah, well, there we go. I will show each of the cards um, up to the camera. I realize that the angle that I have here showing the entire room and not the table, wow. Um, you're not able to see them um, over clearly, but we're going to rectify that here. Okay, so let's get Saturday and Sunday here on the board. Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay, well that's awesome. And Sunday, please, for Cancer. Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay, you got two. Oh, wow. And you actually had a couple of others that wanted to flip over. So I need to understand, Universe, am I to take all of these cards? Or is there something specific for Sunday? So we have two different scenarios that are happening for some of you on Sunday. Okay. Woo! one major arcana for each of those situations okay all right cancer what you're going through right now from what i can see is waiting for something we have the two of wands energy for you so either you've made a decision about something or you are looking to make a decision about something and either way uh you're all about trying to figure out what to do within that waiting game so let's pull the cards that we're going to use for um each of the portions of the house here. 
Give me the uh, Cancer Sun, please. Cancer Sun, please. Anytime now, universe. <laughs> There's going to be more than one. I can feel it. I'm just not sure if it's going to show up on the sun or the rising. Well, it's the sun. Okay, you got two cards. Um, let me have Cancer Rising, please. There it is. And Cancer Moon, please. Thank you. Okay. All right. We will read these individual cards at the end um, of the particular part of this reading here. Okay, let me move these out of the way. So a lot of messages and a lot of energy that's happening for this particular weekend. Um, it's actually a big energy that's going on here. So I want to go ahead and jump right in. What we have starting here is, um, like I said, I believe that this is about a choice that's getting ready to be made. Um, or is recently have has been made. The energy that we had for Monday with the big Mercury Rector grade was the Five of Wands energy. In this deck, it happens, mm, yeah, it happens to be called Obstacles and Challenges. A lot of the times, the obstacles and challenges that we come across when this card comes up doesn't always have to be external. It often is internal. Should I? Shouldn't I? Should I? Shouldn't I? Kind of like overthinking the competition or the activity of what we had um, taken um, a, a part in, right? And as we get to today's energy, Tuesday's energy, we have the chakra card representing the base chakra or the root chakra, depending upon how you learned the terminology, all about your roots, all about your foundation, all about your security, all about... Um, and eh, can have something to do with your, your ancestors and things of that nature. I don't want to read too much into it at this particular moment. But what the root chakra is talking about here is the three of wands energy as far as, as titled here, partnerships and alliances. So the three of wands energy is about trying to come together with someone. There has been a choice that's made, which is why I said what I said. Um, but what the partnerships and alliances leads up to at this point is either watching a ship roll out or watching a ship roll in. There is a choice that was made and very often spirit is agreeing to meet you based upon that decision that you made. When the two of wands comes up, and again, that's the energy I feel is what's going on here for you, Cancer. You can go left, you can go right because spirit has your back either way. They are both going to end up at the same midpoint. So there really isn't anything to beat yourself up about with the with that five of wands energy, okay? But this I do feel has something to do with your stability. So your sanctuary, your job, your um, home, your your family. So there's a lot of emphasis that's being put on this, okay? Now, what we move into at this point, okay? And I do feel some of you, there is a change that's on the way. On Wednesday's energy, you get yield disruption, also called the tower. The tower is representative of Mars energy that shows up here. So if you are available to appreciate and know your chart, then you know that Mars may or may not be taking a big stance here um, for you. Now, the tower does come up and it means surprises. Mars comes in to shake things out, shake things up, because if something has been stagnant or stale, it's time to move away from that energy to allow something new to come to come in. It may have been something that was a little surprising to you, um, maybe something you weren't necessarily expecting or necessarily planned for, but the tower really is here to support you, so I wish more people would have an appreciation for the tower and what it ultimately means on the back end. But when we get to the energy of Thursday, we have another five. We have the energy of the five of swords energy. Now, the five of swords energy to me can indicate you trying to come out of this thought process of conflict and defeat. It can very often indicate argument or arguments that um, could potentially happen. And what I say is you need to be mindful of your mouth. <laughs> it's a warning is what it is. You could potentially have to step up to the plate and defend yourself, defend somebody else in a really kind of a tough position. But at the end of the day, 
how much energy you put into that is going to have to be something that you are taking advantage of trying to figure out what that's going to mean for you on the back end. The other thing that means for this particular card is future planning. Okay, so with the energy of 5-5 five, five already sitting here on the board, there's future planning that is definitely taking shape here. Now, I do have the energy of 5-5. Five, five. I also have the energy of 2-2, um, 2-2-2 two, 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 two actually here. So that is master builder, right place, right time type of energy, just so that you're aware. Okay. Um, the next card that we get into when we hit Friday, and this is kind of a blessing, if something shakes out, then something new is coming in. We have the full energy. We have new beginnings that is here. This is Uranus, or Uranus, okay, stepping into play, talking to you about new beginnings, hopes, taking the leap of faith, having, um, you know, a little bit of respect for the process, for whatever that may happen to be for you. When we get to the energy of Saturday, now we are in party mode. We've got the rejoice in celebration card, the three of cups. So very much for me, I feel as though there is an opportunity for someone to have realized that they had a shakeup coming through as far as maybe a job, profession, project type of a change. I don't really feel that this has a lot to do with relationship, but it actually could. Um, I do think that there might have been an awareness for some people about a shift that was going on in a situationship, okay? And I say sh situationship because partnership doesn't have to mean domestic partner. It can be business partnership. It can also be um, best friend. It could be a, 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 a family member um, in some way, shape, or form. But regardless, there is a celebration that's coming up. Now, why I jump to the whole situationship is because we have a huge, big situation that shows up on Sunday. There's two major situations that are showing up on Sunday for you. First of all, the 2-2 energy that we have here is the High Priestess with the Two of Cups. So with regards to a situationship, Two of Cups, the High Priestess is trying to tell you that yes, you should be mindful of your intuition, but at the same time, there might be a little bit more information that's going to come out that you may not have an awareness of. So not only did you go through one particular shakeup, there's more information that's on its way to you with this particular pairing. What I'm getting out of this is the next pair, cups again with another major arcana, I'll do it like this, um, judgment comes out with the emotional withdrawal or the eight of cups. So judgment comes out, which that's also titled truth in this card, not justice, but truth. This is judgment, okay? Judgment's coming out to shine light on a situation that you were ready to move away from. And very often what it indicates is that you are, and that's the 222 energy that's in here, 2, 2, and 20 for judgment showing up here with regards to a recent move. So the Eight of Cups is talking about being at a complete uh, completion of something that was old. You're traveling from the Eight of Cups. You want to get to the Nine of Cups, all the things that it is that you want that will make you happy and satisfied with what it is that you've got going on in your world. And so the emotional withdrawal that comes in with the judgment can indicate finally calming down about this big series of change that you've just gone through cancer and owning um, those different feelings. Now, to be perfectly honest, it can also indicate that there is a judgment that could potentially be made against you or someone else's energy um, that was involved in recent decisions. And again, clarifying the need for you to have appreciated the judgment call that you made going backwards but the judgment call is also, the judgment card, I should say, is also about rebirth, refresh, second opportunities, second chances. Very similar to the Wheel of Fortune, but very Plutonian um, energy. So Tower and Scorpio, Death, all kind of fit together with those things that the universe wants to be able to give you as far as change. So when the judgment card comes out, you have to be able to be ready to be ready to be ready to receive. Okay, shout out to... Um, Esther and Abraham on that one because that's exactly what we've got going on here. Information about a relationship or a situationship um, for some of you very much so um, uh, talking to you about understanding that there could have been maybe a little bit more information. Maybe there's something there else that's coming. Maybe a partner of yours is getting ready to share some additional contact information uh, that's, that's uh, specific to your specific situation. But regardless, Sunday is going to be a big, big day. So I'm going to take a look at the astrology that I have here in my notes. 
We don't have any, ma well, I shouldn't say we don't have any major. We definitely have the moon moving into the sign of Virgo on Sunday, okay? Prior to that, the moon will have been in Leo um, on Saturday's energy. Cancer, you move out of um, the moon sign when you get to late, late Thursday. So the weekend really kind of belongs to what Leo is doing. Um, and so, I, you know, that's kind of what we've got going on here. However, the sun in Libra does have an opposition to Chiron and Aries. So the Chiron and Aries that shows up for me is really a lot about owning your responsibility in a particular uh, situation. That's exactly what Chiron and Aries is about. And so I feel very strongly that that is exactly what this pairing is talking to you about from an astrological perspective. It happens to be right on the mark, right on the money. But with Libra coming in here, also on this particular day, there is a juicy, juicy trine that happens with the whole Jupiter in Aquarius energy. And so Venus, Libra is trying to make things balanced with new construction. Aries, or excuse me, um, uh, Aquarius energy that's coming through. So that Aquarius energy, that builder energy, that 222 two, two energy that I just talked about, that also shows up appropriately as far as the astrology is concerned on this day. At the end of the day, very spiritual concept here with uh, it being a number seven is you need to make sure that you're liberating yourself from any gear. Oh my goodness gracious, words, woman. <laughs> liberating yourself from any fear or guilt that have had something to do with change up into this particular moment and then marinating in that change as you get towards the weekend. Excuse me. Cheers with my water. Mm. Okay. Ooh, that's yummy. Okay. So let us go ahead and get into the clarifiers. Here they are. We're going to get into the clarifiers for each of those different days to see if we can't put a little bit more shine on this for you. Let's see what we have here. All right. I would like to understand what's going on with cancer on Monday the 27th, what the obstacles and challenges that look to be and have shown up. All right. Five of Pentacles, there it is, five, 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 major change that's showing up here. Five of Pentacles being in the reverse position, six of Wands being in the present energy that you have carried forward for Monday, feeling as though um, you may not get to that promised moment with that six of Wands, maybe not seeing um, or being overlooked from somebody with a promotion or a move or some sort of a passion project. Here's your kicker, Scorpio shows up here. Death card, major arcana, talking about change. It must happen. Whatever's going on or whatever started to circulate and present itself potentially on Monday is all about the greater good and change. Okay? So let's talk about the energy that we may have experienced today here Tuesday with this root chakra and your partnerships and alliances. Cancer. Well, we've got Empress. So that's Venus showing up. Ooh. We have the Three of Wands in reverse with the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Okay. What we have going on here, my friends, is this really interesting situation where the Sun in Venus is challenging the Moon in Cancer at this particular moment as far as that whole big passionate water energy that you guys are all about. So the Empress that's sitting here, it's like what you want, what you're trying to manifest with regards to this partnership and alliances, your base chakra, your long-term um, setup that's going on here. You manifested something in the past with the Empress. You're calling something into your environment. The problem is, is that you've got a little bit of trepidation and fear about this actual move. But what we're seeing here is it's because you're considering someone else more so than just yourself with the Nine of Pentacles that's showing up in the reverse position, okay? So there is this opportunity, and we are talking about a partnership of some sort or a situationship. Universe is saying you must change. You've got death on the right, and then on Wednesday, you get the big tower moment that's showing up here, okay? The big tower moment that's coming up. The Mars energy that is here is right on time because Mars is hanging out with Libra at that particular moment. So Mars wants things to go very, very quickly. Libra wants things to be kind of balanced out. And then <clears throat> you've got your Cancer Moon um, that's squaring that whole situation. How do we make this work? So let's get more details about what this uh, Tower moment means for you on Wednesday. 
Cancer. We've got the moon in reverse, so that's good. Um, <clears throat> so the information that you needed to find out about uh, Cancer in one sense is actually starting to show itself. We've got Neptune that's in play. The moon card is Pisces, ruled by Neptune. So you do have um, the information that you need is coming to you. The information that shook your world a little bit um, has been presented to, to you at this point. Okay, The energy that you're at... You get there, now you have your Nine of Cups moment. This is what I need in, or, in order to feel like I could be whole in the different things that are showing up. So I don't necessarily see this as negative, but let's see what else we have with the future. What is the outcome of this energy for Cancer with this Tower card with the Moon and the Nine of Cups, please? Well, you got a pair, so let's take a minute and take a look at these. Okay, yeah. You got the Five of Cups paired with the Ten of Swords. Okay, both of them are presenting in the reverse position. So what this means is that you're healing. You're actively in the phase of letting something go because whatever was done and over with was a completely 100% done and over with. Okay, so if it happened to be a partnership or a situationship or whatever the case may be, um, just know that in order for you to be in your own independent Nine of Cups moment from this Nine of Pentacles in the reverse position, you got to be able to realize that something has to go. Okay, death wants you to come in and shift something out so that you can attempt something new. So that makes sense about why we have this conflict and defeat a little bit. Might have to have a little bit of conversation in this particular situation. Let's see what we've got for Thursday's energy for cancer with this five conflict and defeat. You know, the other big energy about this is that <clears throat> the only person that can defeat yourself is you. <laughs> so you can't let someone else take your power, cancer. You can't do that. What we have, yeah, this is stemming from the tower, okay? This is stemming from the disruption card that showed up here. Tower shows back up. <clears throat> we have the four of swords in the reverse position here. <clears throat> so the four of swords is active information, but the four of swords in the reverse position is sort of like coming out of the um, resting period where you thought, I feel like some of you kind of had a, an, an idea, a, a feeling that something was coming. And then there it is. We've got the Ten of Pentacles that shows up here. So it can have something to do with some, some individuals feeling as though they might have had a little bit of financial defeat. But I think more so at the end of the day, what it means is that if there is a job change or a shift, whether you turned your two weeks notice in or whether your two weeks notice was accepted and you got, you know, let go a little bit early with your big fat check, whatever the case may be, I kind of feel that that's what's going on. But the only person that can be in conflict and defeat is yourself if you let it. The very next day you have the uh, New Beginnings card. And so what I like about this energy is you go right away from a change to New Beginnings. So let's figure out what Uranus has going on for us here on this Friday's energy. It's almost like you're pre being presented with a new job right away or you're accepting this new job offer right away or you might have given the finger to the old boss because you knew that you were accepting this new job coming through. Um, I, again, I don't feel like it's negative energy whatsoever. I really, really don't. <clears throat> We do have Uranus that's hanging out with um, uh, Taurus energy, so physical, tangible, touchable things, um, values type of situation that's showing up here on this particular day. What do we got? We have the Eight of Cups, like I said, shows up again here, the Eight of Cups walking away from a situation because you knew it was you were done. You did everything that you could do there. You did everything. You graduated from it. You did everything that you could possibly do. You're ready to move on. We have 500 cards, and I would rather grab them one at a time because I know we have a lot here. So give me the present energy for this full energy for our Cancer here on Friday, please. Okay. Ha ha. Queen of Cups, baby. Yay, yay. Happiness. Um, this is the energy of knowing and feeling completely in your own zone at this particular moment. Cancer, I just, this is your energy of knowing that you are completely done with the bullshit from the past and you are moving forward with a lot of ease and grace. I love this. Very, very um, heart-centric. Almost like you had this inkling, like I said, you knew that something was going on and you had a lot of um, 
We have a lot to do with uh, that creation energy there. What else do we have? <clears throat> Thank you. There's Jupiter, baby. That's the Wheel of Fortune in the upright talking to you about the fact that it was definitely time for this to happen. This is a big cycle. Um, this cycle is supporting you right now. <clears throat> So even though this shift may have been a little bit uncomfortable, if you said some harsh words and you threw up the middle <laughs> finger or you did anything like that, get over it <laughs> because there is something more glorious for you here. Now that takes us to where we get to on the Saturday energy where we're rejoicing in celebration. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Um, <clears throat> parties, celebration, um, could be also that you, hmm, like I said, I didn't necessarily get situationship or relationship out of it, but it is very, very possible that you have cut somebody out of your world here. It's very possible that whoever you fired, whether it was your boss or a lover um, or someone else, um, really kind of got the memo here. It may have shaken them up a little bit too within this particular energy, but regardless, um, there's no reason for conflict and defeat. This is newness. Now, with the Three of Cups, we have the world in the reverse position. Okay, so let's talk about the world in the reverse position. It very often can mean that there is something else that you might need to tie up. There might be a loose end yet that you still have to tie up. So hopefully, and that's why I said what I said about the Five of Swords, Hopefully, whatever words you chose weren't too harsh because you are going to have to address something here in the past, okay? From the past energy. We have the Magician card that shows up in the reverse position. So that is definitely Mercury coming to play a little bit of, you know, havoc with you on what that looks like. Um, all right, let's go ahead and move forward. Let me get the Claret. Thank you. Yeah, we've got the Page of Cups in the reverse position, so it's very likely that you may have to clean something up from an old uh, situation, an old flame, something that was emotional um, to you that you were not able to address prior to. And I take one more card since we have two majors sitting right there. Ooh, universe, come on now. That's a whole lot of something, something. Definitely having something to do with the choice. How do you want me to... How do you want me to proceed? Because I have. Got it. Those two are for Sunday. This is kind of a bridge. Okay. So the, the situation has to do with the hangman energy that we have sitting right here. Okay. The, um, the hangman is also the energy of Jupiter in a sense. More so Neptune, but I think it's related towards this Wheel of Fortune, this new fresh opportunity, the world turning around with regards to this Knight of Pentacles that wants to come in and deliver you this longer term um, option. But with the Magician in the reverse position, I do feel that this is not necessarily all of your energy. I do feel that the energy could belong to the second person that is very uh, a, a big part of this mix. It definitely has something to do with the choice that you made recently in the past. But the Bridge card is the Seven of Cups in reverse. I realize it's kind of light to see this one. It's like the lightest one in this whole deck. But it's the Seven of Cups in reverse, which means when you had all these options and opportunities of, uh, ahead of you, Rather than getting clustered about all of the options, you took the cup that was closest towards you and you said, this is the one I'm going to focus on. So this is related to you making a choice. Therefore, the awareness that you had or the detail that the high priestess wanted you to be aware of with this situation shift, this two of cups energy, is exactly that. Appreciating the judgment call that you made in the past. Okay? Appreciating this judgment call that you made in the past and now being ready to accept your gifts. Now, here's what we have. We have two aces. We have the Ace of Cups, complete restoration, okay, body, mind, spirit, something very, very emotional to you. I do feel that it is very much emotional for you for restoration of yourself. I would be remiss if I didn't say that there wasn't an opportunity for reconciliation with someone. I have to put that out there. But we also have the Ace of Pentacles that is in the reverse position. 
So this emotional experience that you're getting ready to um, take advantage of and part of may not necessarily be related to um, finance. It may not necessarily be related to um, job or something like that. This has a lot to do with the energy of two different energies or two different people that had something going on. Again, very much related towards a choice that was made in the past and a lot of communication that was happening. But for some, I feel that there was no passion in this particular situation. There was no, it, whatever was done was done because it was time for it to be done, right? And so you said your piece and you counted to three. That's basically what we are going to leave that as, okay? Now I am going to pull, oh, they said numerology first. I'm going to pull a numerology card for you, Cancer, okay? Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and then I'm also going to pull an angel card for you. Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising with all of this major arcana that's here. Let me just double check here. One, two, three, four. Well, you're you're tied. <laughs> Who was it? Taurus and was it Gemini or Scorpio that had uh, the most of the majors that were showing up here? There it is. Mm. Did I call it a relationship change or situationship change? Now listen. <clears throat> situationship change or relationship change which is why i had to leave it open for opportunity for reconciliation because something in that relationship is requiring change it doesn't have to be divorce it doesn't have to be breakup it doesn't have to be you cussing your best friend out or anything like that but what it does mean is that something that you've identified must change because it will not work for you going into this new direction it's done that's old and dead energy something in that relationship has to change if this is some sort of a breakup, um, then what you have to be able to realize is same type of a scenario. If something's no longer for you and you're the better person for trying to set wheels in motion, that is for you. Same if it happens to be a work type of environment or any scenario that would fit into this place, right? Is that if it's not for you anymore, if you can't stand getting out of your car, walking into work, dealing with the people or any of those types of things, the universe is going to protect you. But it looks like you're ending something and you have the capability of rolling right into something else. Even if that partnership that happens is you and your higher self coming into alignment with the new plans that you have going forward. Regardless, liberating yourself from guilt or fear from moving on from because that is what is required of you right now. Okay. All right. Angels, what do we have for our Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising before I go into the... Adi Ooh, additional pieces. Mm. Spiritual growth. Regardless of the scenario that you are in, please review this and please understand that this has a lot to do with your personal spiritual growth, your independent spiritual growth. Okay, and that's a that's a that's a lovely card. I really do. I really do like that one. Okay, what are we doing? Okay, so now we're gonna go into um, the different signs here. Oh, did I have two? I'm so sorry. I didn't even see this one. It's requirement for you to actually earth and ground during this particular time frame before you get to this weekend. Earth yourself, ground yourself, envision that root, uh, you know, your pillar going down into the earth. Imagine the roots coming from your feet as you stand on the earth, like little roots coming out and actually earth and ground yourself into this whole particular situation. It will definitely help you use the 396 hertz. Okay, hopefully to add a little bit more shine on this for you. If you are a Cancer Sun, here are the two cards that popped up for you. One is Mars. Definitely said Mars is in force here. Okay. Mars is in force in your chart. Five card. Forcing something to change. I told you. Five, five, five. Already here. Here it is one more time. Five. Mars force. Okay. The tower card is Mars. The other, <laughs> the other thing that comes up is fifth house. So fifth house is Leo energy, it's <clears throat> entertainment, um, it's joy, it's luck. It also happens to be the house of children or what we call creativity. And so that's the other thing that shows up here, okay? So there's something that's definitely changing in that house. There's a reason why the tower is coming to shake something up in that fun house for you, Cancer Sun. If you are Cancer rising or Cancer ascending, then what it is that you get here is Virgo energy. And the Virgo energy is I analyze, okay? 
I get it. It's throat chakra. It's perfection, perfection of service. It is getting the communication out that you need to be able to get out. I very much feel that that is all about what this five of swords energy is. You got to say what you got to say. I'm just saying, <laughs> be careful of the words that you choose so that you don't have to deal with the energy repercussions if it happens to be a really wonky situation for you. Okay. Now, if you are a cancer moon, Okay, so we did sun, we did ascendant, now we're doing moon. The energy that you have here is blessings. You have card 46, which is a 10. Grand trine energy that happened about a month and a half ago. This is what started the blessing for you. Okay, the grand trine energy that we have. Um, was it six weeks ago, eight weeks ago? I'd have to go back. That is when you started putting the pieces together and started navigating and migrating towards the thought process that you had Empress energy, asking the universe, being in your divine feminine, whether you're masculine or feminine, whether you're, it doesn't matter with all the different things, but whether you're male or female, however you personally identify, that's not the issue. All of us have the capability of being in the Empress energy. I want what I want, when I want it. Universe, I need this. You put it into the cosmic Amazon. You knew that it was going to show up. <clears throat> Where'd my little dude go? Here it is being delivered. Okay. The Knight of Pentacles is the, uh, you know, the galactic UPS or Amazon driver showing up. You just had to wait. And that's pretty much what you did here, Cancer. So we're going to go in here with your Starseed Oracle. And we're going to support the Sun, Ascendant, and Moon for Cancer. And just see what are the messages that we have. And then we will cap this off with a Kuan Yin Oracle card. Okay. Sun. Mm -hmm. Rising, please. I'm going to put that back in just to make sure. Rising, please, for Cancer. Okay, thank you. And Moon sign, Cancer. Cancer's in their Moon with these blessings. What do we have? Woo! Oh, that one wanted to speak. There we go. All right. The Tower coming in. Creativity, right? Fifth house. Joy. Entertainment, if you know what I'm saying. Cracked open is the card here, Cancer. You got down to the bottom of the bottom of the bottom, okay? Rock bottom, literally, is what this card says. And what you have to do is you have to surrender to the alchemy of life. You have to surrender to the fact that something had to change. If you are the rising, and what you had here, okay, within the Virgo, I analyze energy, the perfection of service, that throat shock or communication, I shit you not, it's the blue flame that shows up here. Okay. Spontaneous awakening, shifting some things for you. Activations or DNA activations that would have kicked into high gear for you. Okay. Forcing you to realize what you can't be around anymore. You can't. You, you can't. Your vibration is so completely different than whoever else you're dealing with. You just, you have to go. You, you can't be there anymore. Otherwise, they bring your vibration down. And integration time is required. And that is why I feel the 396 is here. This will work for every scenario. But that is why that's here. And listen, if you are <clears throat> overanalyzing a situation that is most uh, important for you, then it's possible that you're driving a little bit of fear and guilt into that. But don't. <laughs> don't do it. Now, if you are a moon sign and we're talking about these blessings and you're, and you're realizing that this is a blessing for you, then what you are dealing with right at this particular moment, which is why the grounding card comes in here for, for, for this particular grouping, is feeling as though you need to say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I did this. I'm sorry, but mm -mm, no buts in the situation. Because what you do is you uproot yourself and your true authentic self when you do that. So don't. However, if you were a jack hole over here and you said some really heinous stuff to someone, you might want to throw out that apology, but realize that that apology is more about clearing your energy and your field, more so than it is for you giving forgiveness down to the umpteenth level for this individual or individuals that you happen to be dealing with. However, you're in a series or a state of defenselessness, potentially feeling as though you have to right a past wrong and then uprooting again the energy that it is that you had solidly tried to create within that Empress energy. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, the universe gave you a blessing, so why are you apologizing? <laughs> 
Now, you know, you take that for what it's worth and you put your own level of um, ownership on those particular things. But like I said, the universe has your back on this one, regardless of the scenario or the scene that you're in. Now we're going to follow this up with our final card. This is coming from Goddess Kuan Yin, um, our big compassionate mother. She was all about us, this big past boon that we had. Um, this was all about her. Let's go ahead and find out, <clears throat> at least in many pantheons, let's go ahead and find out um, what Kuan Yin wants to offer towards our cancers. Okay, sun, moon, and rising. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was fast. Thank you. <sighs> what you have is the Tao. The Tao is always flowing, always nourishing life into creation, always presenting steps and solutions, and always reminding us that we are perfect in this moment. You're being guided to relax and allow life to flow. Feel a joy of release and the wonder of how easily life can be when we let go of fear and control. <laughs> That's the over analysis component here. Okay, Cancer, that was a really big one. Um, this was a little bit longer, but again, it's because you had extra energy that was showing up here by this Sunday, October the 3rd. What I do feel, though, is that all of you, regardless of your scenario, are in really, really good situations in order to have a little mini map for you to be able to navigate for the rest of this critique. Hopefully, you were able to resonate with a significant portion of this. And if you did, I would really like it if you would give me a like. Um, feel free to share this content out to someone else. You're, feel free to comment below. Keep it clean. <laughs> comment below. But if you would like to dig into your personal scenario, specifically mano y mano, okay, then take a look at the description box below because I am still taking bookings for personal readings and I would love to be able to support someone that needs to have a little bit more clarification for their own personal needs. Other than that, thank you, Cancer, for showing back up. Um, many, many, many blessings, and we will talk to you soon. Bye for now.